I hope you all have enjoyed the ACT Expo so far. And if, like me, you heard a little too much about uncertainties, about delays, about in a couple of years, this morning, I want to encourage you to think big, not tomorrow, but here and now. And for that, I want to share with you some powerful insights about electrifying last mile delivery operations on a massive scale. More specifically, I want to talk to you about how charging management software is critical to be successful at scale. Let's start with what we all know. Electrification is beneficial. There are carbon emission reductions, benefits, of course, but there is also increasing operational savings through lower fuel costs and improved total cost of ownership. And it also enables the consumers to access products that they see is less carbon intensive. And that matters. In fact, 80% of the consumers say they are willing to pay a premium for a sustainable product. Electric vehicles also enable more advanced, energy-intensive onboard technologies. Think of AI systems that can tell drivers which packages to deliver at their next stop. And for companies like DHL or Amazon, whose business depends on timely delivery, electrification isn't just beneficial, it is essential. Vehicles must depart every day with the right amount of energy in their batteries without fail. On a small scale, this is already challenging. You're navigating a complex ecosystem of vehicle manufacturers, fleet managers, telematics providers, charger manufacturers, and different communication systems. Now imagine you're working to scale EVs nationally. You're facing exponentially growing combinations of chargers, vehicles, firmware, and a constantly rotating fleet. To provide energy to these vehicles, you need to deal with 3,000 utilities. That's more than 80,000 different tariffs in the US. And you face additional region-specific differences that affect the behaviors of EVs, such as diverse climate challenges from Chicago winters to Phoenix summers. Some things that work at a few sites simply don't work at scale. The traditional approach of sending technicians to fix problems on site becomes even harder at scale. Mapping which vehicles use which chargers becomes exponentially complex. And software that works perfectly for our hardware chargers can collapse under the weight of processing data in real time for tens of thousands of chargers. Amazon is one of the companies taking this challenge head on. Since 2019, Amazon has deployed over 20,000 electric vans, delivering packages to thousands of cities across the US. PowerFlex serves as their charging management system providing monitoring, alarming, and control for each site and each charger. We're currently supporting more than 20,000 chargers at approximately 150 sites and expect the numbers to grow as Amazon works to deploy over 100,000 electric vans by 2030. Since June 2024, we've completed several million charging stations, delivering gigawatt hours of energy to Amazon's fleet, and the fleet is growing every month. Amazon's success criterion for charging software is beautifully simple. Was each van charged so it could complete its delivery route every day? This demands flawless reliability. And we at PowerFlex share that obsession with reliability. In the case of Amazon, PowerFlex didn't provide the chargers. But what our software can do is provide transparency which is a prerequisite to reliability. With transparency, we can learn what's wrong and fix it. Practically, PowerFlexX provides aggregated views at the site level or at the whole portfolio level of how many chargers are in use, ready, or having issues. This can be provided in real time so immediate action can be taken. And the platform can generate standard reports to analyze months over months trends, for example. The hundreds of fleet operator employees who use the platform can have access to different levels of information based on their roles. Those who are most intimately responsible for charging 
can peel the onion and analyze in a very detailed way what is going on with a particular charger down to the OCPP messages. Providing transparency on operations also means understanding communications, which is often a failure point in reliability. PowerFlex provides detailed connectivity status that help differentiate between actual offline events and communication lapses. Fleet operators who use PowerFlex don't need to look at the platform all the time. Our alarming system offers proactive monitoring, and they can configure what triggers an alarm. For example, if, say, 80% of chargers are offline for more than 10 minutes, they can decide to get a notification. This ability to configurate leads me to the second key principle that drive our software development after reliability, that's control. We want the fleet operator to be in the driver's seat. The first thing a fleet operator wants control over is the choice of charging equipment. We understand that and have focused on interoperability. That is the ability to use the same charging management software on multiple chargers, leveraging standards such as OCPP, Open Charge Point Protocol. PowerFlex has successfully integrated and tested several EV chargers with Amazon's fleet. And I'm talking about deep testing and integration, not just the basic OCPP features. That requires advanced testing, such as connectivity performance, which is already included in PowerFlex's standard testing protocols. But we also had to develop custom testing procedures for Amazon's unique operational requirements with more stress tests on interoperability. We also give more control day to day to the operators through the platform. Some simple processes like soft reset and hard reset of the chargers can be done remotely so no one needs to be sent to the parking lot. We also want to give fleet operators control over their growth. In the case of Amazon, the size of the electric fleet grows every month, and each new electrified site has to be immediately onboarded on PowerFlex platform. PowerFlex has since developed and deployed software features specifically designed to help manage and onboard large sites all at once. We have developed what we call Site Uploader, a user-friendly self-service tool to simplify the process of onboarding new sites onto PowerFlex. This tool has reduced new site onboarding from weeks to hours. One challenge at scale is to pair vehicles and chargers. For Amazon, we focused on ISO 15.11.8 to identify vehicles automatically without any need for RFID or telematics integration. ISO 15.11.8.2 will improve troubleshooting resolutions by allowing Amazon to monitor EV charging logs and vehicle performance together. And tomorrow, adjusting the charge based on the specific route of a certain vehicle. And that leads me to the third guiding principle in our software development after reliability and control. And that is flexibility. And I'm talking here about grid flexibility. The grid challenges caused by electrification of everything are only emerging. And you may not be surprised to hear uh, that we are very interested in controlling those chargers at a very granular level, but you may be surprised to hear that we're actually not a charging company. PowerFlex is first and foremost an energy company that happens to provide charging services because it is becoming such an important part of the electrical load. And that load needs to be managed. We, of course, need to take into account the requirements of the delivery company, but we also need to take into account the constraints of the grid. That's why we have developed Adaptive Load Management, or ALM. ALM allows customers to maximize available electricity at their site and avoid lengthy and costly upgrades. At one Amazon site, for example, the maximum power available to the electric vehicle chargers increased by 40% using ALM. As a result, charge time decreased by two hours per vehicle while maintaining full charge levels. You can probably tell from this case study that Amazon is way ahead of the curve on last mile electrification. But we at PowerFlex wouldn't be able to serve Amazon today without the experience we gain serving a variety of other types of fleet, from campus shuttles at UCSD, to law enforcement vehicle for the county of Los Angeles, to Class A trucks for DHL. And candidly, you learned the hard way about reliability 
when a sheriff is literally yelling at you because vehicles are not charged during an emergency. You learn about the criticality of control when a CD bus depot manager tells you they just won't use your system until you put a schedule of a right button because sometimes they know better than the machine. You learn about the potential of flexibility when you're the first to install and co-optimize solar storage and EV charging for some of the largest companies in the nation. It's not just last mile. The whole US economy needs to electrify to be competitive, and players like Amazon are showing the way. We have had this vision at PowerFlex for almost 10 years, that businesses could lead the way in clean electrification by leveraging the potential of their commercial and industrial sites, but this is only going to happen if we bring intelligence on-site through software-based solutions. It's very exciting for us, for the whole team, to be able to put this vision into practice with Amazon, who has the business success we all know, but also demonstrates with its work every day that it is truly committed to its climate pledge. And on that note, I want to conclude by thanking the teams at Amazon and at PowerFlex, who have worked together over the past year to make last mile electrification at scale a reality today, here, and now. Thank you very much.